hello everyone welcome back to my channel thank you for being here if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe to be part of this amazing family and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified whenever i upload a new video to my returning subscribers i say a very big thank you for always coming back to watch my videos it means a lot to me please share my video like my video and also leave comments down the comment section if you find this video helpful so today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut a canoe neck that's a boat neck and it's very easy and simple to make so if you want to know how to make this canoe neck please watch this video to the end so let's get started so on the table you can see that i've already created my half scale bodies so to start with from the shoulder to the chest line is seven and a half inches and from the shoulder to the bust line that's the bust point is 10 inches and the shoulder to the waist is 14 inches together with the sewing allowance and as you can see I've, I've drawn the armholes ready so this we are not going to need all this we, we are only going to concentrate on the neck so here I mark 3 inches by 3 inches for the neck width and the neck depth and for the back I mark 3 inches by one and a half inches for the neck width and the neck depth and the shoulder is eight inches that's standard three by three is standard and the eight inches for the shoulder that's the half of the shoulder measurements so what you are going to do now is to create the canoe neck so to do that here i have already three inches by three inches this is the front and this is the back Okay, we are only going to concentrate on the front bodies. So, on the shoulder line here, we are going to measure what we have there. So, we have 5 inches. 5 inches, you divide it by 2. Half of the 5 inches is 2.5 inches. So, I mark 2.5 inches here. Because the boat neck is wider than the normal neckline. So, here on the center front, I'll be coming down the neck depth by three and a half inches. You can leave it three inches, but I'm making it three and a half inches. So all we need for the neck width for our both neck line is five and a half inches. So you can see that by dividing the shoulder into two, I still have five and a half inches. So you can still measure from the center of the bodies of the neck and mark five and a half inches or you can divide your shoulder by two and then you get two and a half inches all is the same so from this two and a half inches here i will connect it to the three and a half inches for the neck depth so you can use your free hand to draw the line or you can use a curve ruler this is our boat neck so the next thing to do is to cut it out so I'll be cutting the front neck and then the shoulder and I'll cut the armhole for the back and I'll cut the side. So let's get to the back now. Before we cut the front, we go to the back. The back I've already marked everything. So I'm going to mark five and a half inches as is in the front pattern. Because the back is one and a half inches for the neck depth. So I'll be connecting the five and a half inches to the one and a half inches here. I'm not going to drop it down. You can even make it one inch if you don't want it more down. So what I'm going to do now is to cut it out. I'm going to cut the front first. Then I cut the back neckline. Then I cut the shoulder. As you can see, I added half an inch for the shoulder joint. So I will be cutting the armhole for the back first and to the side. I 
cut the back ample. I cut the front neck and I cut the back neck. So for the back, I went in half an inch for the zipper bodging at the back. So I enter half an inch from the inner one and then half an inch from here. So this is the main. The shaded one is now the zipper allowance. So I'll change this piece out. So this is it. So this is all what we have. So let me show you how it look. So this is how the boat neck look like. You see how beautiful it look. So let me pin the back also to see how the back look like. So let's open it up. So this is how the back neck look like. You see how beautiful it look. And this is the front neckline. So guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give this video a huge thumbs up and also on the, your notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also subscribe and share my videos. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.